Yes? I'd like to see Miss Leslie Trimble. I'm Miss Trimble. What is it? Well, it's about the house. This house. You wrote you'd like to buy it. Now that you've agreed to sell, what do you want for the property? Well, I uh, wouldn't want to quote a figure that might embarrass you. It's just a house. A very old one at that. The people who lived here. The people who lived here? You mean the Trimbles and Pompers? <laughs> what did they ever do that was so wonderful? Eustace Trimble built this house and wishes well to all who shelter here. His name is Dexter Pumphrey. My name is Trimble. He's the son of the Pumphrey with whom your gallant grandfather had a blazing row back in 1804. You and the Trimbles once did me a disservice. Now I think you can't suggest. How did your name happen to be Trimble? You see, my mother used to live in this house. Oh, and that's how your name happened to be Trimble? Uh-huh. Well, sort of. Uh, she was a housemaid here and uh, Dad was the Trimble, see? I've got plans, Miss Jenny Jones. Oh. Big plans. Aren't we mysterious? Why did you come here? That was a very curious question, mm -hmm. I've come to live here. It's a secret time to sell a house, don't you think? When any minute it's likely to be bombed out of existence? Mm -hmm. And if I bought it, I'd be something of what you Americans call a staff, wouldn't I? And your great granduncle lived here. There was no West Wing, was there? Nor no electric light, nor no gas oven, nor no telephone. Do you understand that it was Sir Anthony's wish that I should continue to live in this house? And I know that in a few years' time, every house in this country will own a bar. A Sir John Bunn bar. Meditating family? Yes. Not the first time they've annoyed me. <laughs> no. Pity. One day they'll have to learn that I can be irritating too. <laughs> To America and England. Cool. Might have all been blown sky high. Huh?